Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about a serious but often overlooked threat, smishing. This term combines SMS and phishing and refers to a cyber attack which targets people through fake, malicious text messages. Cyber criminals are constantly finding new ways to trick us, but in this video, you will learn more about their tactics so that you can protect yourself. So, what exactly is smishing? Smishing is a type of cybersecurity attack where hackers use text messages to fool victims into sharing sensitive information. This could include anything from your name and address to passwords and bank details. These details are then used for identity theft or financial crimes, leaving you vulnerable. Let's dive into some of the most common smishing scams so you can recognize them before it's too late. One common tactic is the email account security scam where scammers send a message claiming there's been a breach in your email account and asking you to verify your details. If you follow through, you will give them control of your account. Another example is the tax scam, where scammers pretend to be tax authorities, either claiming you owe money or that you're due a refund. They play on urgency to get you to share your information. Next is the bank account verification scam. Hackers pretend to be your bank, asking you to confirm your account details, but remember, no bank will ever ask for sensitive information over text. Then there's the missed package delivery notification, a scam that's all too common. You get a fake delivery notice with a link to track or confirm the delivery, but clicking it sends you straight to a phishing site. Other smishing tricks include credit card alerts, fake invoices, gift card scams, requests to send money, and fake app downloads. In all of these, scammers use fear, urgency, or even charity to get you to act quickly, hoping you won't think twice before clicking. Now that we've covered the dangers of smishing, let's see how you can protect yourself. First, avoid replying to unsolicited messages, especially if they seem suspicious. Slow down and think before reacting to any message urging immediate action. For anything that looks like it's from your bank or an official institution, contact them directly to confirm the message. Verify the phone numbers you receive messages from, and never store sensitive information, like credit card details or passwords, on your phone. Additionally, enable two-factor authentication whenever possible, and never share recovery codes or transaction confirmation codes over the phone. Finally, consider installing anti-malware applications that can scan messages for added protection. To learn more about smishing, check out our blog post linked below. And if you want to improve the security and privacy of your training processes, consider Smaltech's proctoring products. Contact us for a free demo to discover how our services can meet your needs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on important cybersecurity topics. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.